Alright, hello YouTube. Delusions is back for his uh, be fifth deck talk video. This will be my uh, third deck that I've started working on. Um, I've got my other two decks pretty much tweaked out the way I want them, so I thought I'd bring in the third deck in my in my series. I've got two other decks that are kind of on the back burner right now. I'm slowly working on them, but uh, this one seems to be uh, working pretty good. It's I've been testing with a couple people from my crew, and it's putting up some decent results. So that I'd share it with you guys and we get your uh, thoughts on it. Uh, the deck is uh, Arcan Direct Damage. It's not creature damage like a lot of them are that, you know, burn their creatures and then swing with their... With, then they, uh, they'll burn your creatures and then swing with their creatures. This is all about um, spells and creatures that deal damage directly to their hero. I usually don't attack with the deck unless it's early on. But, uh... I'll uh, go ahead and start here, and if you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments after the video, and uh, let me know what you think. So, starting out with my hero, I've picked Melina Emmons. Um, I've tried Figaro. He's okay, but Melina just has so many options. Her uh, first skill is uh, level 2, deal 1 damage to target creature opponent controls with level 3 or less. This is good because I don't run a lot of straight up burn in my deck. I mean, I do, but it also has all my burn usually has a secondary effect of dealing damage to the opponent's hero. So this is good for uh, dealing with early game rush. Um, her uh, second skill is uh, level 5, deal 1 damage to all creatures opponent controls on attack zone. This one I use probably about 30% of the time um, just to keep them uh, the board clear on their side, because I do throw a lot of my creatures in defense to keep to keep defending why I keep burning their hero and hopefully I can buy enough time to uh, burn their hero out before I get over overrun by their creatures. So this usually helps out, especially against uh, like green spam. It does help against elves quite a bit. Um, I'm trying to think what other popular... Red Rush, it's really good against that deck because they run like Assault Infantry, Elise, and uh, Commandos and stuff like that. And then her third skill is usually the finishing blow. When she gets to level 5, when the hero itself gets to level 5, she does 3 damage to the opposing hero. But right now I've only got her level 3. She does 2 damage to the opponent's hero. This is usually the the finishing blow um, to an opponent. Or I'll, or I'll leave 6 mana open up on turn like 11 or 12. And if they don't do anything threatening, I'll use it just to get out of the way. That way I can do stuff on my turn. So that's the hero I've chosen to use. Um, at level one, I use uh, four Star Sands. T uh, excuse me, Star Sands Top Student. It's a level one zero two that uh, has pushing, and this is actually a better effect than the uh, her second ability because pushing pushes whenever she defends, she pushes a creature to the defense zone, and I usually don't attack their hero with creatures, so pushing stuff under the defense zone is really not all that important to me as far as attacking, but keeping them from attacking me, it's really good. I mean, sometimes I'll get a two-for-one onto their defense zone. Her secondary ability is um, training, so during her upkeep she gets a, a counter, a training counter, and when she has two experience, uh, it deals one damage to target creature opponent controls. This is good because um, it does take out an early rusher if she bounces a creature, and then the next turn she gets to a uh, counter, she can uh, do one damage to a creature, so... If they have one in attack, I'll do it. But if they got one in defense, maybe I'll have another creature in attack. I can clear their early defender out and then attack for a couple points of damage before the game uh, starts getting bogged down with attackers and defenders. Um, at level 2, I run uh, Golem Summoner. I, I run four of these. Uh, it's just level 2, 1-1, one, one, basic, that deals one damage to uh, target opponent's hero. Um, early on, if they don't play anything in defense, I will uh, throw her an attack and start attacking early. Otherwise, she usually goes in defense to try to buy me as much time as I can while I uh, deal damage to their hero. Uh, the other level 2 I have is Mana Extractor. I only run 2 of her, as opposed to running 4 of the Golem Summoners. Uh, she is a 2-1. 
So she does make a decent defender, and then when she's sitting in the creature zone, I move a wisdom on my shard zone to mana zone. I don't run a lot of wisdom, so that ability really doesn't do anything. It's the second ability on her that I'm really uh, like, is that there's a, if there's no creature on my creature zone, it deals one damage to the opponent's hero. So she's pretty much a golem summoner if my board's clear, which um, more times than not actually does come into play quite a bit. But I only run two because I don't want to clog my hand with her because she's only a 2-1 and I don't attack with her. I mean, she makes a decent defender, but... Um, I would rather deal the one damage with the Golem Summoner and, and still have that body. Um, at level 3, I run uh, Praetor. He's a level 3, 3, 2. So he's a decent uh, blocker. But uh, The main ability on him, though, is uh, when he's sent into the creature zone, I move a creature I control with level 3 or less back to my hand. This serves uh, multiple purposes because it can bounce back a uh, honor, top honor student that I can play again if it's been damaged or... Uh, to get the training back up to start building counters again to get her to deal one damage. Um, but more likely than not, he, um, I'd say about 50% of the time, I always like to bounce Golem Summoners with him because uh, then I can get uh, another one damage out of him. Um, it also has been known to bounce back Steam Armored cards, which will be the card I talk about next, um, to get another use out of it as well. But it's kind of many and inefficient because, I mean, you're, you're paying six six mana overall to do that instead of the Golem Summoner, which is only two. And three, so it'd be five instead of using six. Um, the other level three, I run a Steam Armored car, and I do run four of these. Um, when I sent the creature, when this creature is sent into the attack zone, it deals one damage to target opponent's hero. Um, this is more often than not what I like to do with it, but um, in a pinch, I can throw it into the defense zone, and when I do that, it does one damage to target a creature op opponent controls on attack zone. So if they've got a threatening creature, I can usually sometimes two for one by killing one of their early drops and then blocking uh, a drop later on in the game with it. But um, I usually try to get this into uh, attack zone, that way I can hit their hero. Um, so that's the only creature I run. I only run 17 creatures, and that seems to be the right number because most of my direct damage comes from uh, spells. Um, in the spell category for cast... I run uh, only one cast, and that's a level four, and it's Ice Flame Arrow. It has uh, two abilities on it. I can choose either to deal one damage to target creature opponent controls and then two damage to the hero, or I can do two damage to target creature and then deal one damage to target uh, to their hero. So I can either do one to a creature, two to the hero, or two to a creature and one to the hero. So it's kind of a versatile in that way. Um, more often than not, I usually try to get the uh, one damage to creature and uh, two damage to hero, that way I can uh, start killing their creature a little bit faster. Or killing this, um, pardon, start killing their hero faster. Alright, um, in the burst slot, uh, level one, I run clone experiment. I run three of these. Be, um, what this does is it copies a uh, target creature you control with level four or less, and then I put it into my hand. This is good because it can copy Steam Armor Car, Praetor, Golem Summoner, um, which. Um, you know, Golem Summoner is simply one damage to the hero, extra def uh, attacker. Praetor would be is a good target sometimes because you want that extra 3-2 body to throw into defense and you still get the creature back to your hand. And then if you need a Steam Armor card to deal with something on their attack zone, you can do it instead of copying, maybe, say, like a Golem Summoner. Um, I really don't copy Star, uh, Star Sand's top student very often because um, usually after turn four or five, she, she's kind of worthless, so I like copying my bigger creatures with it. I um, uh, don't have any level twos, so level three I run uh, Ice Bolt, and I do run four of these. This is pretty much, you know, the standard, just deal two damage to your uh, opponent's hero. Um, what I'll do is I'll start building up my defenses and, you know, picking off their smaller creatures with my spells. And then start flinging these at the end of the game to try to kill them before they overrun me with creatures and after they get through my defenses. Um, and the, the other level 3 I run is uh, Ice Bark. It's, uh, also, it deals 1 damage to target creature opponent controls and then 1 damage to that creature's uh, controller's hero. This, um, this kind of serves, well, I mean, it does 1 damage to the hero, but... Um, early game I can't play, like, say you play a Golem Summoner on turn 2, and then turn 3 if they play, like, a, a weak defender, I can kill it, deal 1 damage to the hero, and then swing for 1 with my Golem Summoner until I start throwing, uh, my traps and my defenders out to keep, or to clog up the board till I can burn them out. 
And then uh, at level 5 I have Ice Blast, and I only run two of these because these are more of a finisher. Um, I really don't want to clog these up in my hand early game, so that's why I only run two. But it, uh, at level 5 it deals three damage to uh, target opponent's hero, so pretty much standard straight up uh, burn to uh, your opponent. Um, getting to my traps, I run uh, a level 1 common from Syrian faction actually called Flooding River. It's, uh, it reads if a creature opponent controls with level 4 or less battles a creature or hero I control, move that creature to the opposite zone after the battle. Um, and then I can also activate the trap and do the same thing for 1. So what this does is any anything with level 4, usually I want to hit a level 3 or 4, um, and move it to their defense zone to kind of buy me some time to, to burn them out. Um, because I've got the Starshan's top student to handle the early drops. This is used to handle the late drops. Um, and kind of along the same lines, I run uh, it's a level 1 Archon Trap. It's called Protection of Moon Ladder. Um, if a creature opponent controls attacks and deals damage to an ally's hero during battle, move that creature to defense zone after the battle. And then I draw a card so it does replace itself, which one is really good because it keeps keeps card, fl card flow coming in. And two, it uh, starts throwing all their stuff back into defense um, to keep their attack zone clear so I can just keep burning their hero and not have to worry about uh, their t dealing with stuff in their attack zone. Um, the other, the only other trap that I run is uh, level or uh, level one. Um, I only run two of these Lost of Steel. Um, what it is is uh, play it, and then I can go for the for zero. I can get something piercing and draw a card, or um, pay four, flip it, and draw two cards. Um, if they're playing a slower control deck, I'll throw this down first, and that way I can get it out. That way, later in the game when I'm starting to run out of gas, I can pay four, flip it over, and you know, hopefully to draw that last spell that I need. Or in a pinch, if I really need that last spell to burn them out, I can pay the zero to uh, pay the zero to hopefully flip something over and win the game at the end of their turn, or, so, or like on my turn if I can burn them out if I flip that one more ice boulder ice blast. Um, for the shard zone, I run uh, four brand of water. It's a uh, shard when it comes into play. I uh, discard a card and then draw a card, but it also does one damage to target creature opponent controls on the attack zone with level two or less. Since I don't run any um, straight out like flame blast or meteor showers, um, this is a good way for me to deal with creatures early on without having to spend mana to kill it, I, which I can spend to use to start setting up my defenses or uh, start burning other creatures and attacking their hero directly with my spells. And um, I do run four Land of Secrets as well. This is pretty much for um, Psyche Weenie because it's becoming more popular, especially Resurrection decks with uh, with the Heretic that is a 2-2 two -two for uh, one. Or uh, Red Rush because they run, uh, some run Devotees or uh, Furious Commando, so this is, uh, when it comes into play, I flip it to the defense zone, so, and it works good against Cade sometimes if they run, uh, Lesser Demon, because it's really painful for them to throw it and flip it in the defense, and they're taking one damage every turn unless they bury it, so, it actually does serve a purpose. Late game it can kind of hurt, but early game it's very essential to have. Um, and then I run the standard 8 Wisdom. For, uh, Taros, I run, uh, Empress, just to keep my shared flow coming. I run the fool just for that extra refresh, just in case if I need it. Um, I run hangman. You may be wondering this might be a little confusing as to why, but um, this serves actually twofold. One, if they have hangman themselves, I can flip back in response to keep uh, to keep them. They'll, they'll only get one attack off, and it'll keep uh, keep me from dying just in case they flip it. So it's pretty much an answer to another hand if they play Hangman. And two, um, it can serve as an alpha strike for me because I have my stuff in defense and their stuff in defense. So I can flip it, throw all their stuff into attack, throw my stuff into attack, and then I can alpha strike because they won't have any defenders left over. And then uh, Hermit is just standard straight up draw three cards. So hopefully at the end of their turn, you know, draw three cards and hopefully I can kill them on my turn before they can set up a board position with the cards that I gave them. So anyway, that's my uh, third deck. It's Archon Hero Damage. It's uh, in testing. It's proving pretty well. Um, I'm 
getting ready to try it in arenas and see how I do. But uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions, go ahead and throw them into the uh, comment, bag, comment box and let me know. Thank you for watching.